Now, what is the outcome of this loop? That we will try to understand while understanding this example. So here, in this example, we are having two variables uh, which are the counters for the loops. So for the outer loop, the counter i is used and for the inner loop, which is the nested loop, the counter j is used. Now what happens is every time this loop gets executed, every time the outer loop gets executed, uh, all the iterations of the inner loop is done. So this point is very, very, very important to understand. So once again, I'll explain this concept again. Every time we come into this loop, this complete loop will get executed, uh, will get executed. So let's understand this here initially. So once the program gets executed, the value of i and j has been in, has been declared. And here the value of i is initialized to one. So we are going to come into this loop means so far how many iterations are done now can you guess how many iterations this loop is going to make in this entire program execution so once again in this entire program execution how many times does this loop iterate so it is going to iterate 1 2 and 3 and whenever uh, the value of i gets incremented to 4 we are going to come out of this loop because this condition fails means 4 less than or equal to 3. Is it true? No, 4 is greater than 3. So we are going to come out of this loop means this loop is going to iterate 3 times. So this understanding is important means in the first iteration where the value of i is equal to 1, we are going to come into this loop and now this for loop will iterate. So how many times does this for loop iterate? See here, here the value of j is equal to 1 has been initialized to 1 and j less than or equal to 5 means 5 times this loop is going to iterate. So j is equal to 1, it is true, j is equal to 2, this condition is true, j is equal to 3, every time the j will get incremented by 1. So j is equal to 3, 2, 4, 4 also true, 5 also true, whenever the value of j becomes 6, then we are going to come out of this loop. And every time we come into this loop, this loop is going to iterate five times. So try to understand this. Every time this we come into this loop, how many times we are going to come into this outer loop? We are going to come into this outer loop for three times. Try to understand this. Okay. So now what is the output? So what is that which is getting printed in this print in this for loop is we are going to print the value of J. 